So that is actually end of the boat sequence. Now there's only one of those within this game, uh, which is completely fine um, by me. It's a really cool sequence. And I... I appreciate it. I love how fast they move now. Like, those things move quickly. Uh, so, here is where we start to see, like, this is what we've been... This is what humanity has more or less been uh, reduced to. This is what we are dealing with. Now, you'll notice a lot of those yellow arrows like telling you where to go. And in this game, they actually do a good job at making sense of it. Those arrows are more like... Um, like, this is the, the, the resistance. The humans that are still alive and up and functioning like saying hey this is a safe way to go this is not and if you got a really good look close look at those guys they don't like the, the other game they looked not necessarily benign but they don't didn't look as creepy as they now do although i the sound has kind of stayed the same like that's the similar sound to what they've always sounded like as far as resistance uh one has was concerned. Oh, there it is. Boop. And now they're just like wandering, and they are very much just wild, like feral cats. Feral, like the, the part of the ecosystem that's just destroying the area. They're consuming what is dead, what doesn't belong anymore, and things like that. <sighs> uh, we'll get to Widowmakers. Widowmakers were actually around in the first game. And they didn't, they weren't in the second game, you didn't see them, and now, like I said, they're some of those feral chimera, and I like the fact that they're like, that that's feral, that is dangerous, more dangerous than a, just a typical chimera, which is, which is, it is terrifying, like, you think about, you know, we have animals in the zoo, and they are, you know, we're like, oh, there's an animal in the zoo, but... We've got relative control over them as compared to some of these other, uh, some of these other creatures do. Vertical takeoff and landing VTOLs. We figured them out in this game, we still haven't always figured them out here. Alright, he'll stay up here, he'll be fine. Mattresses. Yes. Uh, so, that, like I said, that's it's pretty interesting to just to see a dynamic like that compared to <sighs> compared to a, a just aliens attacking or it's like being on an alien planet and then finding hey, there's something there's something else on this planet aside from like the local population that even the local population worries about because uh, that's always the question um, and it's like. If, if us, you as a human are like, if you, we as a humans are scared of something and we look at evolution from a natural standpoint, uh, we often see creatures with like spikes and with all these things attached to them. And that is, um, those are absolutely terrifying. We're like, oh my God, spikes, you know, what, what is that? What is causing spikes like that? You know, what, why, why would they have that? And you think about it, well, if they have spikes, spikes from an evolutionary standpoint are defensive. You, you grow spikes or things grow spikes because they don't want to be eaten. And now we have, you look at some of these chimera and their evolutions, the ones that especially that are controlled and how they look. 
and then you look at the gangly reach of these other ones and you come to like what what is this like like look at those gang like they're not humanoid as much whereas the other ones look a little bit more human comparatively speaking like i'm not saying like okay this looks like a human i would mistake that for a human but they look more natural compared to these guys and so this is one of those harder parts of the games, guys. I'll try my best to keep the commentary going as much as I can. Uh, like I said, this is actually just a very challenging segment. I don't quite remember where to go. I don't remember if I could kill them all, or if it was... I love the holographic scope for this gun. So guns in video games, and I, I really need to do something. Um, like, we play a lot of realistic shooters, and as you guys know, like I play a lot of Rainbow Six. Uh, and Rainbow Six, like, weapon design and things like that, you can't really change the weapon design on a... on a weapon that is future or that is realistic. It's just one of those things that doesn't necessarily work out simply because you know it, it how are you oh god how, how do you how do you go ahead and modify it on something like that because it is you know it, it's realistic it would begin to ruin the flow of the game but then you play a sci-fi shooter and I want a gun in a sci-fi shooter to feel different I want it to feel powerful, alien, you know, something that's, I don't think I could ever under experience uh, shooting. And I think this game does it very well. It gives you guns that are innately human. Um, the revolver is a human weapon. Like, that's not uh, hard for us to see. Like, oh, that's, you know, that's normal. That's a human, a human weapon. But then you take a look at, like, the bullseye that I'm holding here and how this is compared to the other weapons. And you're like, okay, that's that's different. That is distinctly different. And I want weapons like this to always uh, feel that way compared to a com compared to a human weapon. Like, the shotgun, it, it's a shotgun. I know how a shotgun fires. I fired one before. And I want it to feel familiar. I want it to feel like this is all reliable so to speak. And then I want everything else to not feel this way. I want it to feel wrong. I want it to feel strange and unique. That's something I think this game definitely capitalizes on. Like I, when you when you use human-based weapons or weapons that are like, okay, this was designed by humans, uh, the three-round burst marksman rifle, the shotgun, the... Uh, and there are a few others that you we're going to see throughout this. Um, they have a, a standard assault rifle. Um, those are... They, they like. You feel like you could have picked one of those up and used it. it. It doesn't feel stupid unique. It feels unique to the game just because it's not normal. But... It's... I don't know. It, it's not... It, it's unique to the fact that it's not a normal game. It's not... Shit, that felt weird. Um, it's not just a... A weapon that we've all used before. It has to feel distinct. Oh, there it is. Oh, shoot that the trigger. One of those unique things that I totally forgot about in this game. Oh, that's right. They changed the Deadeye. So in the other games, it was not called the Deadeye. This is now the alien version of the sniper rifle. Which 
I'm not 100% sure how I feel about. I'm, one, not a sniper. There are never going to be a time in my life where I'm going to be like, don't worry, guys, I got this. Give me, give me the sniper rifle. I got this. I will never, ever, ever say that. So these guys throw rocks at you, which is really cool. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does enough to be uh, completely annoying and make you, like, hate it. So now I have to drop down. I was looking to see if I could get that last guy. And so that's one of the other things this game does very well, is those radio broadcasts, they're not just in America. In the first game, they're tracing Hale. The second game, it is in America. He's reporting on things that he's seeing because he's, like, locked in a tower, not getting news. Everything, for the most part, has been shut off. In this game, now it's these remnants, which is what they call themselves, of course. Uh, that's the resistance, the fighting force that is out there. Uh, I'm going to go through and pick up as much ammo as I can. Now, the game punishes you for exploring a little bit. Like, you'll find stuff. But at the same time, you're wandering in, like, an infested house full of these things. And that's... It's not something, like, you want to hang out and be in. Alright, let's try... I hate these little moving things. Ah, You know, it'd be great if I could just hit him. It'd be great if I could hit him. <sighs> Out of shotgun ammo. Yeah. So like I said, it will punish you for exploring and taking your time in places where generally would be like no let me let me just push through and get out of here because things like that happen and they attack you and they overwhelm you and they're supposed to pick you apart like that it's not supposed to be a quick one it's supposed to be slow annoying and agonizing but this is where we're going to end it winners so if you guys enjoy this so far please don't forget to like comment subscribe tell me what you like about shooters uh sci-fi games and things like that and i'll be back with you next time we'll see what's up with this vtop keep it weird guys